Ooh, what's up, YouTube? ODST General back again with War of Right. Uh, so we're gonna see how the volume sounds on this one. My last video, I sounded really quiet compared to everybody else. This game can get pretty loud, and unfortunately, there isn't um, sound settings set up properly in here. Uh, starting off with a handful of guys. There's supposed to be 27 people in here, but uh, looks like this group I spawned in with is only like five guys, six guys. I guess you follow him in. So we got an officer here, but he's not talking. I have a feeling this guy's never done the officer role before. So, um, I have done videos on this in the past. And, uh,. It's very much a uh, teamwork oriented uh, title. I don't really like sitting in like a wide open field and they've got all this cover with the um, fence line and stuff. Oh, he's dead. Shift over and move. I'm gonna shift over. Hey, there's a few of us, and the uh, the officer's not talking, so it's gonna be really difficult to get organized here. Um, I also don't know what their numbers are versus ours, but they're winning already significantly. Another guy up here. Somebody just died right there. Oh man, yeah, they're all like all over the place over there. <laughs> I'd probably die here. It sucks. Not looking so hot for us, is it? A uh, quiet game. You gotta get in. This is definitely one of those games you gotta get in when everybody else is on. Um, it's a very small population that plays it, and uh, unfortunately, it seems like anybody who's not in like a clan or a unit just doesn't really talk. Oh, uh, there was a guy closer. I didn't realize at first. Wish I could see who is on whose team here. Well, we're not down that much, but if you look at the other team, it's, you know, 6th Louisiana, 6th Louisiana, just like most of the list. It's almost like all, um, all a clan on the other side. Everybody's organized, and it's just mostly randoms and like a couple of clan guys. So who's in charge? Makes me miss the uh, bridge recruiter I was making fun of, at least uh, as he talked. Got the NCO over here, the NCO 7 Tennessee. The majority of players for this definitely seem to be uh, Confederate players in my experience. They won't talk at all. First Georgia. And these are these are clan guys too, and they're not communicating. The only thing I could think is they're in Discord or something with uh, with the other clan members, other members of their unit. Very shot from way over there. There's a lot of smoke over there. There's still a guy over that way though. Scrimmage. So 
So I see that they're pretty much straight ahead of me, but I can't actually see any of the guys from here. They're in shadow. Yeah, this is something, it's definitely hard to know if you actually killed somebody or not. This is a, a lot better of a position where we're still, you know, scrimmaging. I'm sure they're all in a line, there, so when they do take losses, it's going to be very minimal to their team, uh, unfortunately. I really wish we had a uh, an officer here who kind of could rally everybody who also knew what they were doing. So that guy got over behind that rock now. Yeah, one ran down that hill on the right side. Yep. Somebody else just went down. There's only a couple of us still standing here. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not sure if they got me from a distance there or not. This is a uh, this is not a good match for sure. I was uh, I was scrimmaging, but I guess I killed enough of us that just it was considering me out of line, even though I hadn't moved. Uh, so unfortunately, because of that, the uh, the loss is more impactful for the team as a whole. So that's kind of frustrating. It's like here is a reward for surviving, you know, almost the longest. You get the most punishment for the team. Uh, well, what are you gonna do? It happens, right? Let's see here. It's same, uh, same guys and everything here. It looks like seven Tennessee, random six Louisiana, first Georgia. Yeah, it's all southern guys. Southern guys and random people like me. There's like literally north, no northern units playing at the moment. Somebody died right at the base. I'm not sure what happened there. Can we get up into the second floor of this building? I never figured out how to open doors in this. Uh... Oh, it's F. Okay. Let's see here. We're gonna try and play the whole sharpshooter thing. I'm not much of a sharpshooter, but uh, maybe we can do something with that. shot at me here. Kind of neat though to see all the guys moving down there. The field below us. Oh, they're talking. They're just... I guess they're all talking in chat. I wasn't even paying attention to the chat. Gorgeous game, though. Um, Alright. Uh, Alright, we regroup back to spawn. Okay, it sounds like we're falling back to the spawn, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, head back downstairs and rally under this guy here. I don't know who said that. Oh, 54. Right, we gotta work together here. This is a team battle. Let's, uh. Which way should we go? Let's go down the road here. Alright, guys, line up. Left flank, fellas. If you wanna win it, through the woods. Double click. The, uh. Southern boys no, here, they're right flank. You'll die out there. Southern players do tend to know what they're doing a little bit better than the northern players, I notice. And I'm, 
inclined to an extent to agree with his uh, decision making, however, everybody else is going to the right. Um, and I think it's best to stick with our team rather than go off as like one or two guys. Um, his his thinking here, I suspect, is that the like the right side here is completely open. It's pretty much devoid of cover. I don't know what the bounds are of the map. Um, the map has set boundaries that you can you can go out of and you'll fail the mission or get killed or whatever, but um, they're not clearly defined. Like, there's not markers at the edge of the map or anything, so. Uh, I'm guessing it's probably pretty close to that wood line, though. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna sprint here, try and keep up. Yeah, see, there we go. There's the, uh, whole deserter thing. So right now we're at the very edge of the map. Um, everybody's fixing bayonets. Probably a good call. Um, I don't think they'll charge us because they're in a, a superior position. They're off time. Oh hey, we're uh, we're actually considered in position. Can't see diddly squat. So they're oh yeah, I see him now. Well, the guy next to me died. Hopefully I don't die before I finish reloading here. Maybe a screenshot if at all possible. I should have screens to uh, to use for this already. Is that a southerner up there? Is that a right, we're gonna get down and reload this time. Um I don't really don't like the extra time it takes. But uh, any extra cover I can get is going to be good here. It's a very wide open area. The cutting is down just like the uh, the southerner had originally indicated. If we had been smart, we would have just rushed their position in all likelihood or flanked around even further to the right. I'm not sure where the boundaries are here. But uh, now we're, we're left out in the open with no cover and our numbers are beginning to dwindle. Um, no longer in formation. Wait for everybody else to reload and I'll get up and shoot with them. Artillery is really close to us. Artillery is random, but it, it can kill you. Shoot, here it comes. Yeah, we got rushed. That sucks. There was nothing you could do there, unfortunately. Uh, I should have, uh, could have tried to stop reloading, get in, and charge him. Uh, he had ammunition. I didn't. So, need a need an officer. We need an officer to get in because there's a, a couple of new features since I last played. Uh, they have a line formation feature, which would be really good right now to have that line formation feature in play, uh, just to tell everybody where to line up. Um, but we've also got. Like random, or actually it's not random, but like team rebalancing or auto balancing so that basically if too many players on the other team, it forces somebody onto this team. Grin. The officer is a recruit, it looks like. So... Fighting going on over here. Let's shoulder our rifle. This guy 
as an officer. I wish I could uh, tell a little bit easier if I was killing people or not. I wish there was an indicator for it. Sometimes. <laughs> I know how hard it is to hit people. I know how bad my aim is. So sometimes I just I think I'm better off not knowing whether or not I killed somebody. Because that lets me imagine maybe I actually did. I don't know for sure, right? guy there's a fence line there I guess too but about halfway up that tree on the right side hey, there's a guy you guys what's up you guys must have with a company negative sorry negative I have a recruiter come around soon. Get you guys recruited into a company if you want. It's in a bigger company. I appreciate the offer. I don't play enough to justify being in a company at this point in time. <laughs> Who's talking? ODST? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, just have a look in the, you know, the company tool on the web page. Yeah. See which ones you want to join, more and more join. I say it's better to be with a company than just rolling solo anyway. Yeah, that's even true. If you're only, even if you're just a casual member, sort of thing, that's all right. That's a lot of shots. Yeah, so... <laughs> it always kind of kind of drives me a little bit nuts. So that's our oh, right guys charging in. A lot of movement on the left hand side. Um, both from our guys in there shifting around a lot. Yo, so there next to me. Um, so anyways, like I was kind of starting to say. Yeah, just uh, here is uh, people are really big on recruiting. I mean, it's, it is important to have uh, you know good people to to communicate with and train in, and I mean, it makes a huge difference for winning and losing. And I've been kind of on about that this whole entire match, but just like the rate that we're doing, it's like every single match, and like I get people um, constantly like just randomly friending me on Steam and stuff, like after a game they'll send me a friend request uh, to try and recruit me. I just deleted one without responding, just uh, the last time I played. So, you know, I get it. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I understand why. It's, just, it's kind of obnoxious to the extent they go. Yeah, not sure if I'm getting any kills. It'll probably be better suited by moving a little bit closer. It looks kind of hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure one of their guys just fell uh, down there at the fence line. Not for me, but for my teammates. We got a couple guys down there, but they really do have the advantage on this, uh, this left side. If we were smart, what we do probably here is uh, fix the let's push up through the woods there. I'm not sure if there's a, um, a boundary in there that would stop us, but use the woods as cover to get up on top of their position. So right now they have a, uh, a superior uh, advantage to us as far as positioning and terrain goes. Because um, they've got that fence line, it goes, you know, across over there. So they basically have, you know, uh, fairly good cover from the fencing. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's, it's decent. Uh, it goes all the way across that just looks out over this entire field. Um, we've got some scattered rocks 
and some trees that can kind of conceal our movement. Not really serve as cover, but you know, just kind of hide our, our moving or coming and going. But, um, you know, their actual cover is a lot better than ours. So we need to go through. We have a couple guys going through, but they're really scattered. And I don't know if they're actually charging the enemy position or not, but even if they're not, even if they're actually, say, even if they are charging the position, they're going up one at a time. Those are getting massacred. We should just get as many guys as we can. Make a uh, fixed charge. You know, all the fixed charge. Um, but with something like that, you really do need to have an officer there, or at least uh, like an NCO or somebody to kind of organize it. So, or <laughs> just even somebody with more authority than me, like say, hey, you know, idiots, come on, crap together. Get in here, fix bayonets, charge on my order, and get everybody to agree to it. shifting left that, that wood line though it's definitely our best bet for getting out there and getting into those guys just me and that uh, first lieutenant from the 6th Louisiana uh, yeah, I heard something hit next to me I was like oh is he dead See F Mason saying we should push up into the woods. I think most of our guys have kind of pushed up over that way. I might try to make a shift over there here in just a second. Before I do that, though, I'll fix bayonets and then we'll run over and uh, try and join our comrades over there. Get reloaded. Go ahead and fix our bayonet. Yeah, another, uh, another four guys just pushed in, uh, respawn group or something here. So. You got some smoke cover, some people just fired, so now's probably the best time to uh, run across this field here. You have a, a little bit of a fence line here that's kind of protecting us from them shooting, but it's not particularly great. Um, these guys right here, for instance, they're all kind of... Over, but the problem is we're being cut in two positions. We're cut up over here on the hill. Have to make sure each shot counts, make sure it's aimed. We'll just take pot shots. over there yeah. or maybe six guys I can't really tell exactly how many over there kind of watching for that somebody dropping in and really hoping that wasn't the officer it's a little bit low oh. got another officer <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, they they killed the other officer that was behind us. The guy from I think it was the, uh, McMason or whatever from some Tennessee. I just saw an officer from a Michigan unit. He's yeah, uh, he's died. killed over dead, folded backwards. Double got into him, I guess. There's some guy. Here. One out of cover on the hill on the left. Let's see if I can get 
shot on this guy here. Need to push back down. Now they're still on the hill. I'm just having a hard time seeing them as they're coming through that behind that bush. Starting to push hard on that left side. <laughs> I just ran up here to this guy. <laughs> There's a guy over here, but I can't see him. He's got to be crouching down or something. Might be him, like, directly ahead of me, but I can't. Oh, yeah, that's... It's definitely a guy. Oh, I I saw him. I couldn't see him at first when I was aiming. He started moving around, so I tried uh, I tried aiming down on him, but couldn't get uh, studied in time. But uh, you know what, guys? It's been about 27 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and end the recording here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a, a blast to play this. Not a great match, but a blast to play. Um, if you guys want to see more War of Rights, let me know in the comments below. Other than that, make sure to like, subscribe, share, because that really does help me out with the channel. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.